two years ago in Kansas City. According to Getty, hit the game winner. He's no longer around, but safe to say that they're trying to get a little bit of revenge here with two. We can pay close attention to these two outstanding coaches. And they're, they're two of the more animated coaches in the league. Don't expect them to sit down much. As a matter of fact, both of them are standing to start the game. Well, the first two female head coaches in a men's professional league, Lisa Leslie and Nancy Lieberman. And both champions. There's Lady Magic on one side. Here's Lisa Joe. Lisa's been all over the place. She coached coach the WNBA all the other day. She is getting her money's worth on a week in Las Vegas. WNBA All-Star Game caught Team USA. She'll be with us on the broadcast tomorrow on CBS. Royce White, nice finish. She had the first points for power. And, and see, that's by design from Nancy Lebron. The best way to try to slow down a really good offensive player is not just what you do on defense when you're defending him, but making him work when he's on the defensive end. So that was a set play to try, try to attack Iso Joe. Iso Joe. Over his first two. Mentions by design. Nancy Lieberman put so much in the preparation with her team. Yeah, White was trying to take advantage of Pargo in that situation, but sometimes instead of backing the player down from behind the three point line in that situation, move it and then run to the post and get a deeper post position to stay away from those offensive fouls. Joe Johnson, head coaches, and Lisa Lurgo. Loose ball foul on the other side. White, and so Joe, that's number two on Royce White. So Avery, big three history here in season four. That's Gerda Gatling. Today, her debut as an official, the first female official in league history. You make it all kind of history here with the big three of this league. I love this season. Lady Magic on the That's three. That's three fouls. Yeah. Whoa, that's three fouls. He's got the jersey on. On Royce White. So he has to sit the rest of the half. And he was teed up. And this is big because Powell's under man, no Glenn Davis, no Dusan Bullet. They added Derek Byers and Abdelay Endoy, but it's not the usual vibe for Power today. What a tough start, even though Powers up, you know, 2 0, those three fouls now. Royce has to sit the rest of the half. You know, technical fouling hurt. It's not designed to help for Isaac Lieber. The best way to it, it looks pretty clean, and that's why he kind of lost his composure a little bit. Gina Mobley, Joe Alexander trying to settle him down, but they've got to push forward. By the way, yes, Dyson Joe, Al Jefferson, and Fargo. So a drop step, won't go over Alexander. Mobley shakes free. Avery, good team this week. A couple of big three veterans. Alexander can't beat the shot clock. It, it, it'll be interesting to see how much space Mobley has to operate because he's playing with two guys that really don't have any to make points right. So that four shrinks a lot. Margo step back. Knocks it down for three in the face of so Mobley. That's the beauty when you're in situations like that. Guys just go to their pet move. A move that they've made you know, a million times in their career. That they have a lot of confidence that they can make it at the point line in that situation. A pull the chair on them and Johnson scoops up the finishes. And that's one of the moves Charles Barkley made famous pulling the chair. Not because he was a great defender, by the way. <laughs> Whatever it takes. I saw Joe on the board. Mostly not yet. Argo on the drop off. So Endoy just loose ball foul. Called up to power. She had some very important minutes so early on. Number two. And uh, Royce White. I saw Joe off the clear. And Endoy clears this one. Yeah. Endoy, he's just going to be utilized here as a pick and roller. On cue, and he's going to get a two-point shot. 
All right, Johnsons, how do you do it? Uh, John, the way us Johnsons do it is when we are in a bad way against an offensive player in the post where he's falling, we just pull the chair and allow him to fall, get the steal, and convert the basket. That's how you flatten a guy named Joe, if you're Joe. Alexander getting the worst of it for Johnson. As Endoy, leaving a couple of points at the foul line. You know, us Johnsons, we have to stick together. We may be related somewhere. You do. <laughs> the baby products of Missouri. You got that down. And this is big because of a sloppy start. Johnson against Alexander. Iso Joe. He's getting decent looks. Yeah, but I think in that situation, Joe was so deep, he could have caught the ball and went right into his move. He was a little hesitant there. Maybe he was off balance. But as the game wears on, you'll see Joe just basically finish that. On catch, catch and shoot. What a tough start. Katina Mobley, the shot after all these years. 11 NBA seasons, he's 45 now. Big three veteran, but it still looks awfully good. Yeah, I just think the lack of depth is really going to affect the power, especially with Royce White getting those three fouls early in the game. And that's why after your first foul, sometimes if guy has you in a bad way, it's, it's easier to just allow him to attempt the shot, contest it without fouling. Smart play, ball didn't hit the rim. Those little things, because it's first 25 and gets to halftime. But without Royce White, you love to stay with construction distance before the break. And in the big three, this is not about trying to get guys playing. Uh, it, you know, we have benchmarks here. And the first one to 50 wins the game. That's it. Good by two. A Pargo on the switch was open. Gets his own miss. Lovely shake screen. Alexander didn't have to clear, but he does. Yeah. That was a great idea by Pargo with the behind the back pass. Just couldn't complete it. And going out there. Nine six triplets in this matchup of the last two champions in the victory. The fake. Jefferson. No, and boy, yes. You know, throughout Al's career, he's been a pump fake specialist. I mean, he and Mac Moodle are who did, and Joe Johnson, they all are crafty with that, with that fake. He just couldn't complete it. I know he wishes he had that much bad. Many forget how good Al Jefferson was in his prime. It was all NBA 13 with the Bobcats in Charlotte 2014. On the roll, fouled hard as Bowley was just hanging on for dear life. That's so one of Trishler's really cute plays. It's set up with a little dribble handoff flip back to Pargo. Al sets the screen. Here it is, and then he rolls, and he put the deep. There's no backside help. Because then the defender really doesn't want to help off of Joe Johnson. So if you get two on the ball, it's basically impossible to go. We know what Joe Johnson can do as a scorer. But Avery, when you have players who present such difficulties to match up with, like Jefferson, that's a game changer in the big three. Absolutely. Joe is agree he's more than a scorer he knows how to space the floor he's an underrated passer Joe Alexander coming up 10 point game in week one Joe Johnson easy into this one yeah really disappointed you can tell by his reaction we can't repeat it on the air on CBS but and a Mobley and Power. It's an 8 0 run in our first break here in Gate 2 Vegas. Very intense to start this game. It showed by Royce White his intensity to start the game, both offensively and defensively, which led to three fouls. And now he's on the bench. A chicken sandwich that hits different. Grated by hands for a crunchy, juicy bite. And it's Burger King. Yeah, our hand breading is as good as our plain grilling. 
the hamburger that you king in classic or spicy. Your way, way better. We are there in your community. Small business owners, mechanics, police officers, homemakers. And we are there serving our nation. A rookie start though for Briscoe. Trilogy, they're 2 0. Iso Joe double teams, spins, and scores, and a foul. Hey, Johnson now at six and a chance at three, coming out of the timeout. Yeah, Power was in a help defensive situation. A little bit of a halfway trap here. And Joe took advantage and spent away from the double team and scored the ball early going towards the baseline. You got to keep Joe coming back, back to the middle where the help is in that situation. This was during the break. Ty Lue, the first head coach, and Chauncey Phillips, first NBA coaching job with the Trailblazers with Ice Cube. We have two outstanding coaches. I coached Ty Lue back when I was coaching the Mavericks. You know, championship coach with Cleveland. You know, got injured a lot this year with the Clippers, and then we had have uh, Chelsea Bill, you know, NBA champion with the Detroit Pistons. He's going to do a magnificent job with the trip. And you think about Chauncey Phillips a couple of years ago. He's on this half court. He's in the big three. It's a summer. It's where the attention is, but it leads back to whether it's the bench, back to the league, maybe the G League. This is a league right now, Avery, the big three, where you're attracting a lot of different personalities, types of players, and you just don't know where the road's going to end. And, and these guys, you know, Chauncey Phillips and, uh, you know, they, they, they could be anywhere in Las Vegas today. There's a lot of a lot going on in Vegas, but this is a respect level for the big three, for Ice Cube and the purity of, of, of the big three. Do I have to keep an eye on you when this is done? Are we going to lose you to Vegas? <laughs> no, 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 I'm fine. <laughs> We talked about golf, uh, you know, coming back out of the break. I played Augusta National twice. I don't know if you knew that. That was twice. Good. That was after the break, Jim Nance. Oh, and Joe Johnson. <laughs> they didn't want me on the court, of course, before the Masters. I expected on the last year with the right network. 
There's no doubt about it. I know he's wish got a good one here. Triplets with the ball leading by one. Step back to a rolling boom. He's going to tie up between Jamari Moon and Derek Byers. Yeah, nice play when you when he came over, Byers came over for the help side. He, he extended his arms upward. He didn't come forward. If he would have clamped down or chopped down in that situation, it would have been a foul. Very good positioning on that close. Alexander, Byers, got it. There's three over Jamari Moon. Down two key players. Royce White picks up his third foul, has to sit early. And they lead by two. Iso Joe, too much. It's basically now the game wears on. You'll see Jill in that situation with that Alexander. He'll move him behind the three-point line and take him off the drill. Contino Mobley with the bigger defender on him drills the three. But Avery Pemble first at 25 gets to halftime. Jamaria Moon. Can't answer. So Byers, Alexander, and Mobley. Power. That's a good thing. Alexander spins back. Moon climbing the back. And a loose ball foul right underneath. Yeah, that could have easily been a loose ball foul on Moon. But Byers with the three. The easiest three-pointer on the court from the corners and then Catino continues his three-point accuracy after making six threes in these four. Maybe Cardo now is eight of fifteen shooter. Mobley can't add to it. Alan Anderson into this one. Yeah. Along with Moon and Johnson for the triples. That could have easily been foul. Jamaria Blue not there. If you're Nancy Nathan, have to start the real where this game is right now. Yeah, it's intense. Definitely the real. That's me down on his wife. Only a really strong take will get a two point shot. It seems like, and you don't always get this, between the Hall of Fame coach and the captain, just the perfect combination. We saw that when they captured the title in 2018, and you still feel the Lieberman Mobley combination is what makes power special. When you go and talk to these guys off camera, you could, when, you, when you're in the company of Nancy Lieberman and Mobley, there's such a love fest and a respect and a trust between a coach and a star player. It's just fun to watch and hear when you're, when you're around both of those unbelievable coaches and players. How about Jamario Moon on the set up from Iso Joe? A uh, little clock issue here in Vegas. Small business owners, mechanics, police officers. Now we got it all squared away. Jamario Moore won the title with triplets two years ago. Has acquired that year midseason from the Ghost Ballers. Mobley, quick release. Nice job by Moon that time. Closing the window on Mobley to not have a wide open look at that three. Alan Anderson, you can make the case. He has never seen a three point attempt that he doesn't like. Always willing to shoot. His foot was on the line, so that was a two. Alan Anderson, a four year starter from Michigan State. Led him to the final four in 2012, 2005. There were a lot of final four trips at Michigan State over the years. Alexander doubles, got three and scores. Crafty play by Alexander, use, utilizing the basket. Year one with power for Joe Alexander. Iso Joe for four. Boone could not save it. Joe missed that shot, but that was a mistake by Alexander. He was basically daring the reigning MVP to shoot a four-point shot on his favorite side of the floor. Holy oh. foul. He'll get a two-point shot, and if he makes it, that'll get it to halftime. Alan Anderson not pleased for the triplets. Yeah, Lisa Leslie wasn't happy. 
she wasn't happy with that shot. I think she may want to challenge that. She want to challenge it. Yep, and you only get one for half. Might as well use it now. Nancy Lieberman's going to bring the fire between Anderson and Mobley. Yeah, this is a really good challenge. Taco Bell bring the fire here in game two for Vegas. Now, if Anderson gets a stop, no points for power. If Mobley's fouled or hits, then power gets the points. And we saw him get in the first game, Reggie Evans did a nice job of playing defense and got a stop without foul. And Joe took advantage. And the play starts beyond the arc. Mobley for two. And Anderson gets the stop. Very successful. Bring the fire there. Nice defense by Anderson. Force Patino right. Patino can make that fade away on the baseline. We've seen him make that shot his entire career. But give Anderson credit for playing defense without fire. Show against Joe. Johnson. We just don't have as much movement and cutting right now from the teams to try to generate some easy baskets, you know, backdoor cuts. That was close. Yes, Last touch by Joe Alexander right now in the big three, where you're attracting a lot of different personalities, types of players. So you jump up two of the best players in the league. Yeah. Joe's going to try to get to his right side. They can be anywhere in the Mario Bruin. Nails it. But this is a respect level for the big three, for Ice Cube, and the purity of, of, of the big three. Do I have to keep an eye on you when this is done? We got an ice of Joe with the assist. And remember, um, you know, in our last season, we talked about Jamario Mario Moon was traded to the trip. Coming back out of the break. This was one of the reasons why they needed some more help. Lead, but also they thought he could be a guy that can offensive rebound, make some occasional threes. Looked like it was off Alexander wasn't ready for the pass. Yeah, Moon saying, why don't you review this? Let's take a look. Yeah, Lisa Leslie has a point there. If there's this much confusion, review it. Now, did Moon get it after it hit off Alexander? To go through the wickets. Yeah, look if he just went through his up down. That just looked like a, a situation when, when the uh, center in football snaps it to the quarterback and the quarterback doesn't see the ball coming and it just goes through his legs. Final drill. <laughs> Challenge was not upheld. It's going to be white ball. So it sticks with power. Last touch by Moon, and the call on the floor is always so important in those circumstances. Yes, and, and it's all about getting it right. That's why I love replay, and especially when you go to the replay booth, and it only takes a few seconds, not an entire quarter. <laughs> only getting a two-point shot. Again, an opportunity to get this game to halftime. And they already used their challenge. They already used it, and it helps with the transparency. With your fans, they know you're trying to get it right. I love, I love when we can go to the replay. Mobley for the break, the and we're there with the power. Impressive first half, one to the defending champion triples, 26-23. Given the foul trouble with Wine, given they're missing two of their key guys. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see, you know, can Mobley hold up for this entire game? He's breathing a little hard right now, so we'll see with this break. And uh, can he kick it in uh, with his conditioning for the second half? Halftime of the main events. Here on the Saturday between the last two victory champions, Power leading by three on CBS.
Trash is sponsored by Super Trash, the official fantasy partner of the Big Three. Play now at Big3SuperDraft.com. Lisa Wesley and the triplets ring ceremony earlier today in Las Vegas. The defending champions trailing power at the break 26 23 here on CBS. Don't forget to download the exclusive Big 3 app in the App Store and Google Play Store for exclusive content, highlights, stats, and merch. Download the Big 3 app today. Let's go to John Sally with Catino Mocha. John? Okay, Cash. You got this team up two point, up three points on the trip. You look great. All right, back to you guys. Thank you, Spider. And yes, Catino Mobley still has it. What a performance by Power. Royce White out with three fouls very early in that first half, and they lead by three. Yeah, impressive what Catino's done, not only in week one, but to start this game. They always talk about LeBron James, how much money he spends on his body in the offseason to get ready. <laughs> Catino Mobley's in that same mode. When you talk about, you know, how he takes care of his body, but look at the rest of his teammates. It's not all Catino Mobley. You know, they have a little bit of everybody contributing. Here's Bias from the three-point line, and he's my X factor going into the second half to provide some reinforcements to help Catino Mobley. Mobley scored 13 in the first half. He was 4 of 12. Joe Johnson scored 10. Took him a while to get going. Also a sport 12 from the field. And Royce White picked up the three fouls. If you do that, you must sit the rest of the first half. Maybe he makes a difference trying to help power extend the lead. Yeah, we'll see if he can play defense without getting those cheap fouls. Definitely going to want to get another tackle. So Argo Johnson. And Jefferson for the triple. White defending, air ball, Johnson, right place to score the win. But that's the craftiness of Joe Johnson. You know, he's off the ball, but he's underneath the basket in that situation. And what he did was he gained on, on the guy that was guarding him with his strength. Pushed him out, easy basket for Jeff. White, Mobley. And too much mustard on it. Turnover by Power. So here, Joe underneath the basket. Look at him. He has Alexander sealed. Used his strength. That's an easy layup for Joe. He has led Power to triplets in scoring in every game they've ever played. Step back over Alexander. Argo kept it alive. Only White is Alexander, now look for Fargo to possibly flop here. White, the strength. Yeah, see, in a situation like that, when you're a smaller guard, Fargo basically tried to use his, you know, try to be physical, but you're not going to out-tough White in that situation. So you almost need to try to put your chest on him, and if he comes into you, then I won't say flop. <laughs> they need to go down because you're probably going to lose that. Well, what did you What did you say there? Did I, did I hear that word? No. <laughs> I love, I love. Power by one. Argo over Alexander. Only for the break. Royce White. And he's here at the end of this. Sizing up Iso Joe. Ball away. No. Johnson called for the foul. He does not like it. And White will get a two-point shot. And see, in this situation, Joe Johnson thought he played exceptional defense. He got very, very animated. And the referee did not hit him with a test. That's what I... I love about the big three. Situations like that allow the guys to be emotional. They really care about winning. It's not necessarily swallowing your whistle. It's just being smart. Referee understood that, hey, he's just passionate about his defense in that.
that situation. And something worth noting in the big three, Ice Cube has said, if you are teed up, that really could be a detriment to your team because you get a two-point shot if you pick up a second technical. It's two two-point shots as Pargo can't connect. Rebound White. But the referees give that latitude before you reach that point. Yes. How about this matchup? White the spin and finish it. Oh, nice pass. He'll flick in the finish for Royce White. Yeah, like a little pistol piece of air, bitch. A little mustard on that hot dog. Nice pass by Alexander. And just being aware in those situations. Johnson, step back. Drills it too easy. Do you feel the physicality of the game today? These guys are really bumping each other. And who's going to get worn down first? It's a three-point game right now. Powers up by three. Alexander lining it up. Joe Johnson in for the rebound. Margo and Johnson play together in Arkansas. Teddy Gibson, Margo can't connect. Hence the triplets. The trio playing for Nolan Richardson back in the day. Yeah, I think the triplets they need to use Al Jefferson a little bit more in the post. I know he came up short one time, but you know, with that type of a big body, and he had a career where he's dominated in post ups. He's not a stretch five. So, yeah, Joe Johnson is the focal point. Pargo can make a shot. But I think this matchup with Al Jefferson and Alexander. Little subway push. Got the rebound. Johnson against Alexander on the switch. Iso Joe going to work. Fall away. Mostly is fouled on the air ball by Jefferson. Again, it's just, uh, you know, hand-eye coordination, reaction time. Look at this quick reaction by Alexander behind the back pass. It's just really good teamwork. I know how Jefferson was disappointed. He let one go. He's got, you know, good hands throughout his career in terms of catching the ball and rebounding. Mobley now with 17. Avery, I think a lot of people forget Joe Alexander. Played in West Virginia for John Beeline and Bob Huggins. He was picked eighth overall by the Bucks. 2008. A couple of years in the NBA. Mainly overseas. He made the difference. Three. Iso Joe. Don Cup. Did he get it away? They say he did, but he missed. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he did. He's always been in the triplets. They just caught a break there. Yeah. Ceremony early today in Las Vegas to defend the champion. Shot keys and scores. He's in the small part of the dribble. He almost got a pair out here in that situation. You can't win a physical matchup with Royce Lee. And he, Royce is fired up. He, he spent quite a bit of time on the bench in, in the first half because of foul trouble. And he's, he's energized. By three at the break. Okay, it's now a nine point lead. Argo, three points. And to it, right there again. Al Jefferson's going to have to be more demonstrative and called for the ball in that situation. White gave it up, but Iso Joe right on back. There's the game coming up on a thriller by TV. Three's company and McKiller Threes is coming up next from Las Vegas. Pretty interesting our first two games we had. All four of the teams undefeated. Now in game to stop both teams looking to get their first round. Trilogy the winner. Game one earlier against the three headed monsters. They have power right now leading by nine against the Chickens. We'd like to send our condolences to a pair of members of our CBS family, Melissa Ryan Galvin, Associate Director Jason Melnick, both of whom recently lost family members. Ryan and Jason, guys, we're thinking of you here today. Yeah, it's always tough, you know, when you lose family members, man. And we were praying and uh, thinking of Ryan and Jason. A lot of great memories and when you have holidays or anniversaries or birthdays, you just think about them even more when they're going.
Jason. We're thinking about Ryan and Jason. Ed, we built this game as the main event here today because Howard won the title three years ago in 2018. Triplets winners in 2019. And Howard's the only team that's ever beat the Triplets in the Big Three. That was two years ago in Week 5 in Kansas City. And right now for Howard, some different guys with Joe Alexander, Roy Swight now in the mix. It's a nine-point lead here in Vegas for that. And even though it's a nine-point lead, this team is going to tighten up at the end. I don't think, uh, you know, Powell's going to win this game by double digits. It, it'll get tighter. Alexander, the crossover. Left the short. Step back over Alexander. Iso Joe against Cat. Anderson denied. Royce White flexing the muscles. You know, in a situation like this, last time, um, you know, that that was an easy three-point shot. Closed out. That's when you need your shot fakes and drive to the basket. Avery was the worst thing for power when he picked up his third foul early in the first half. But in some ways, it might have been the best thing because he's come out since the break and he's been that difference maker for power. Yeah, but Joe Johnson made Royce White pay the price on that last one by utilizing all that energy against him by getting him off the floor and uh, finding his way to the free throw line, creating that contact. Iso Joe with 16 now. Joe Johnson, the big three MVP last season. Got the lead in scoring and assists. Alexander's run is good. Right with Jamario Moore. Alexander didn't mess around that time. That was basically the old Tim Duncan rip through and just go to the glass and score. Timeout on the floor. Game two in the balance. And power with a 38-29 lead. There's Usher Joe. And there's this guy, Joe Alexander, here in Vegas.
to 75303. Sign up for text and enter the big three. Bring the fire promotion. Game two here in Vegas. Power with a 38-29 lead on the defending champion triplets. Hey, Rick Johnson, let's go back to today's monster moment of the game. It's fueled by Terrible's convenience stores, and it was a big call early in this one. Yeah, here, Rory White had already had two fouls. This was not a foul. Uh, he was animated for a reason. Uh, he got called for a technical. I think in that situation, the referee should get... He should be able to get a technical. <laughs> get, what, what should we do? Call the tech on the ref. He, he has to do 20 push-ups or something for making that call. Spoken like a former coach, <laughs> a former champion, a guy who's lifted. And Cohen Avery Johnson, John Sally, our CBS crew. Here's season four of the big three. And the timeout, Joe to Al Anderson for three. Allen Anderson, if he doesn't get his shot blocked by Royce White in the right corner, you know, he's two for two from the three-point line. But the key for Royce White in the power is keeping your composure. Alexander got his own miss. Lisa Leslie saying you've got to box out. Deflecting it out with tennis shoot for power. And see, Joe, that's why he's such a terrific playmaker. He takes what the defense gives him. We call that a penetrating pitch or a driving kick. Different teams have different uh, terminology in that situation. Mobley beats the shot clock with a deep three. There's no way in the world when Joe Alexander's driving that I'm going to help off a of Coutinho Mobley. The Coutinho saying, hey, don't disrespect me like that. Nice, so Joe. That's just good, solid D. Mobley scoops it up and puts it in. Wipe the denial. Power leads by 11. If there's a crack or an inch in the situation, Tino Mobley's going to take advantage of it. Joe Johnson. Sniff bar. Jumper's good. But Avery, in watching Royce White, we have a great look at him when he guards Joe Johnson. He looks as excited as anyone we've ever seen in going one-on-one -on -one with Iso Joe. Yeah, this guy's got a lot of pride. He's accepting the challenge. He knows how good Joe is. And Mobley again. Not that time. Johnson, runner, rimmed out. In that situation, when Joe goes and drives to the basket, you know, Anderson and Moon, you got to attack the offensive glass. There's no real standing around ball watching here. But now when Joe Anderson drives, that was a mistake on uh, Anderson's part. Smart play right here by Mobley. Loose ball. First one to the ball always has a chance to win that possession. Spinaraba couldn't finish with the left. Johnson now for three. Knocks it down. And a chance at a traditional four-point play for Iso Joe. And if you want to cut into a deficit, you can make a three and get fouled to a traditional four-point play, or you can go to our four-point shot on either side. Joe Johnson's hit blackjack. He's got 21. Mobley's let power with 22. And right now, the triplets have two guys on the floor with Allen Anderson and Joe Johnson that have four-point range. You got to guard them all the way out to the four-point shot. That's why I said, again, you know, Joe makes this, this basket. They're cutting into this deficit. The greatest player in the four-year history of the Big Three. And he's clearly not done yet. Man in his prime trying to bring triplets back in this one. Mobley over Moon. Can't answer. Anderson, that corner spot of two. Air ball. 
I think Anderson was looking at Royce White a little bit more than he was looking at the basket because he's gotten his shot blocked. Iso Joe. Excellent rebound by Alexander. Joe Alexander ducks, spins. Long drive up there. To the rim. Up and under. Beautiful. Iso Joe and the triple to it in three. But you see the urgency on those rebounds. Sometimes early in the games, guys don't sprint to the three-point line. But look at the urgency after that rebound. Joe, I mean, he accelerated, made a strong move to the basket. 8-0-1 for the triplets. White missed it. Those little things, when Joe Johnson's getting going, are critical. Yeah. Joe with a nice, sweet move. Reverse layup. Probing, shooting, got it. A 10-0 triplets run. It's a one-point game. I don't understand defensively, especially with Moon on the floor. You know, you gotta, you gotta get down there. You gotta get, get him something, Joe, some help. You gotta get your defender some help. That's just <laughs> riding the bikes for Joe in that situation. Adam Anderson fighting the call. One point game. He's a two heavyweight. Last two big three champions. Earlier this half, power led by 11. Alexander sizing up room. Joe Alexander, sheer strength to finish. Joe Johnson. Yeah, so in this situation, you can make a decision. Alexander's got to help a little bit here off of Moon. Crossover and the pull-up drops. Because if you don't help, Joe's going to put you in the blender. <laughs> That's like an all in one mixed videotape. <laughs> it's like a video game for Joe Johnson. Make him a passer. Cat over Anderson. Moon with the rebound. Triplets can take the lead. There's no secret where this ball is going. Iso Joe over Cat. Big rebound, Alexander. Power 45, triplets 44. The drive. Look out. Johnson. Now he's open. Nails it. Iso Joe time. Here we go. Avery, first lead for the triplets since it was 9-8 in the first half. 15 to run, and they lead it against power. Yeah, just a veteran player. Once that ball is live or rebound, Joe is really finding the seams in the defense, sprinting behind the three-point line. And then when, hey, he's in his bag right here. <laughs> it's over. He's unguardable in those situations. And look at him here, sprint behind the three-point line. Alexander's late. If you late paying the bills, you're going to have to wash the dishes. <laughs> How about this? Joe Johnson with 31 of the 47 for the triplets. You were wondering, you know, was Joe going to get any help? And he's saying at this point, he doesn't need much help. He, he's got that look in his eye where he thinks he's going to win this game on his own. Joe Johnson Avery, 12 of 28 shooting. The rest of the triplets are a combined 6 of 23. But here they are now. They've climbed back and a two-point lead. And we'll see the answer that's coming from Nancy Lieberman and Power. Yeah, we'll see once uh, the Power's back on on offense what kind of decisions Coach Lieberman's going to make. But in this situation, I, I wonder if she's just thinking, I can't let Joe Johnson beat me. Somebody else got to at least attempt this next shot. 
Hey, sitting on 31, the big three record is 33. We'll find them with Bivouac in 2019 out in Chicago. Power did have a foul to give. Officials conferring, and there it was. Point game. They can win it with a three or a four. Johnson against Mobley. Catino saying no help. Moon for the win. And now Power can win now with a three or a four. This ball has to go to Coutinho Mobley. He's got to get this ball to Coutinho Mobley. Alexander. he got to get the ball to Coutinho Mobley. Here he is, Avery. Fires off the mark. Johnson for the win. They have to stop the game. The buzzer intrudes. But now the reset in a tie game at 47. Yes, it's all about execution. You know, Nancy Lieberman, we're calling it, wanted the ball to go to Coutinho. They got it to him. This was entirely too late. You know, I don't even think he's got the shot off in time. But it was, it's too late in the shot. You got to get it to him, you know, in eight, eight to ten seconds. Again, point game. First of 50 win. Must win three. Now, in this situation, who do you want Coutinho to try to score a ball on? Is it Moon? Anderson? You want to try to force a switch? Anderson? Royce Royce. 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 I saw Joe wants the screen. Fires over White. I saw Joe. Knocks it down. Joe Johnson game winner. You know, I love to watch movies over and over and over again. Some of my favorite movies. That's a movie with Iso Joe to win the game here in the Big Three. I'll watch that movie every day. Wow. <laughs> He's just unbelievable. This was the main event. It lived up to every piece of the billing. Yeah, I'm on the edge of my seat. The fans, the fans were really into it. You talking about giving fans their money's worth. John Sally with Iso Joe. Iso Joe, you put on a show. We gotta do what we gotta do to win, man. I know, but you seem really tense right now. Now, I just love competition. You know, uh, this team has obviously gave us, you know, problem over the years, adding a few guys. Uh, we knew it was going to be a tough battle, but the stronger man won tonight. We came out with a win. Okay, I don't know. Was it 32 points or something like that you had at a whole 50? I don't know, man. Hey, we just hooped. 34. It takes. Whatever I got to score to do it, let's do it. Let's go. All right. Great job. The champ is here. The right. champ is here. All right, All right champ. champ. See you later. He is the champ. It feels like it. In the big three, no one has scored more than 34. Joe Johnson, Avery with a big three record here in game two.
They avenge their only loss in team history to power. And look at Lisa Leslie. <laughs> Man, we, we should create like a big three belt, you know, in the WWE, you have the belts. We, we should, you should have a belt. Man, this is just, just touch, such total disrespect not to be up closer to Joe Johnson in that situation. Spider with Lisa Leslie. Lisa, that was uh, close. That was beyond close. You know what? Power, coached by Nancy Lieberman, great team. They fought hard. But I kept telling my team, hang in there, stay focused. We're going to figure a way out. Joe was struggling early, and then some of our guys were not knocking down shots. But it was our defense. We got some defensive stops. And all we needed to do was keep chipping away. And get Joe the ball. And then, hey, I saw Joe. He does what he does. That's why he's the MVP. That's why he's going to be the MVP again. And that's why we're going to win again. All right. So last year was one thing. This year again, you got your ring. Joe looks like he's in tip-top position. He is in tip-top shape. And the great thing about him, listen, John, Joe is always the first one in the gym. He's the one doing yoga. He's riding a bike for 20 minutes. He comes in shooting extra shots. I schedule extra practice. Joe's there. It's that type of leadership, and then the rest of the guys just follow. They really do. It's been great. Okay, so uh, you got USA Basketball, WNBA Basketball. You're going to tell me that the big three is the best you coach and you've seen. I love coaching these men because it's not that I'm teaching them something new. I just try to give them an edge to help make them better. They respect me, and I respect them. And at the end of the day, you know, John, basketball is basketball. Great job, Coach. Thank you. See you later. Martel Bland Bland family. God bless you. Morning side high. Thank you. That's right. Inglewood, California, Lisa Leslie and the Triplets winners in a thrilling game two. Just unbelievable stuff here at Orleans Arena. And going back with Avery Johnson, the Triplets in that game on an 18-4 run, and they get a record 34 from the MVP from two years ago. Joe Johnson, just unbelievable. Yeah, and we were hyping this game. Start dating back to even before the season started, we hyped this second week game, and this matchup lived up to the hype. And uh, Joe Johnson was special. I agree with Lisa Leslie. Got off to a slow start. But, um, hey, man, I, 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 my heart's beating. My heart's palpitating even more because Joe Johnson got me up out of my seat with that game-winning three-point shot. Hey, Lisa, I don't know if she meant to do it, but a little early declaration. We're going to win the title. Joe's going to win the MVP. It's only week two, but the triplets, again, are looking the part like they did two years ago. So what Lisa's saying is they're going to be celebrating in the Atlantis, <laughs> in the Bahamas. Is that what she's saying? I think so. It, well, we should be there. We want <laughs> Ice Cube. Let's call it Ice Cube. I'm working in semifinals. Let's work the finals, Ed. I think the other 11 teams, they hope to have something to say about it, but that was a thrilling game. Katina Mobley was excellent. Royce White got to early foul trouble, but they found a way. The triplets did at the end. Joe Johnson, six game winners last year in the Big Three, has two already. Yeah, there's some of the others like Jamario Moon and Anderson's defense to slow down Katino Mobley because he only had uh, nine points in the second half. Well, the